is tutorial number 15, and it covers how to extrude a coil using Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now what you need to extrude a coil is a profile, and you need an axis for it to follow. So to start off, let's make a circle. This is going to be our profile. And let's dimension this to 5 mils. Now let's make an axis for it to follow. So let's make a line and make it go straight up. Now let's click return and let's click coil and it's already selected the profile. It's going to be our circle. Now we just have to click the axis. So let's click this and you can see with the green line that's going to be our coil. Now if we click coil size you're able to change the pitch and the revolutions. Now the pitch is the distance from one revolution between the other. So right now it's at 10. So if we do 20, the distance is going to be twice as far. Now let's put it back to 10. And the revolutions is just the number of times it goes up. So we've got one right now, two, three, four. Let's make it seven revolutions. Click OK. And now we've made and extruded a coil out. Now you're also able to change how far the coil is in diameter by changing the axis. So let's edit this, let's click sketch, let's edit the sketch, and let's change the distance between the axis and the profile. So let's click the general dimensioning, click the axis, let's click the center point. Right now it's 20 mil, let's double it, let's make it 40. Click OK. Click update. And now our coil is twice as wide in diameter. Now you're also able to make a coil that isn't a circle. You can make it as a square. So let's edit the sketch. Let's delete the circle. And let's put in a square. click update and now we've made we've extruded out a coil with a square profile and that concludes our tutorial on how to use the extrude coil feature within Autodesk Inventor